Bed Bath Beyond and Bankruptcy. The company liquidating hundreds of stores filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Bed Bath and Beyond warned back in January that bankruptcy could be coming after a dismal holiday season during the pandemic. They faced inventory issues. They couldn't keep sh their shelves stocked. The retail giant in business since 1971 has closed dozens of stores in the last year. 360 locations plus 120 locations of sister store Bye Bye Baby are still in operation, but are expected to shut down by June 30th. It's empty. It's like it's like a disaster zone has gone through there. I mean, it's unbelievable. Some important tidbits for customers about this transition. The usual return and exchange policies stay in effect until May 24th. Gift cards and certificates are good through May 8th, but those Bed Bath & Beyond coupons are no longer valid after this Wednesday. All in-stock online orders will be fulfilled, and the company says all wedding and baby registries are safe, with plans to eventually add an alternative platform for registries. The company was slow to transition to online shopping, while Amazon, Walmart, and Target have grown. The company says it will stop some of those store closings if a last-minute buyer steps in. It currently employs about 14,000 workers, down from 32,000 last year. Bed Bath & Beyond joining the likes of other so-called specialty brick-and-mortar stores such as Circuit City and Toys R Us. More recently, David's Bridal also filing for bankruptcy with plans to lay off 9,000 workers. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.